Hey you guys, it's Ben and welcome back to episode 7, I believe, of your Bucket Plugin minigame tutorials. Today, we're going to be sorting out kits, and uh, kits is something which is, you know, very similar to teams. Um, so a lot of what we've done in this team class, you're going to also notice in the kit class we're about to create. So if we go into our handlers, we're going to make a new handler, so a new class, and we're just going to call it uh, kit. And, and in here, it's going to store all of the uh, the different types of kits which we have. So in our constructor, we want to construct various kits, and eventually this is going to be in our config file, so we can just add new kits via config. Um, so the kit, uh, first of all, we want it to take a name, so we want a name of the kit. Uh, we want a list of, um, I guess, we want a list of strings, which is the items, and then an int, which is a display item. I'll explain all these things in a second. So, what this is going to take is going to take the name of the kit, the a, a list of strings. So when we input it into the config, um, we're going to say like, so our item one is going to be uh, one five six colon four. So we want four one hundred and fifty six, the ID, and then the quantity, and that is going to be in a string form. And then we can just pass the data from that. And the display item is when the player clicks an item in the inventory in the lobby. It's going to have a display item which is going to be the item that they click on for the kit, basically. Uh, so, we're going to make a few, a few things. So we need to make a private static list, a list of kits, which is, first of all, um, we want to make a list of the all the kits, which is a new array list, uh, which contains kit. So it's going to contain every single type of kit that we have. Uh, and then we want something similar, but instead we want a private static hash map, uh, which is going to take a string and a kit, which is going to be player kits, and that's going to be a new hash map, hash map, which is going to take a string and a kit, and this will contain the data for which kit a player has. So it's going to contain, contain the player and the kit that corresponds to them. And by default, they'll all be like a normal kit, and then if they select a certain kit, they will have that kit. So, first of all, we need to make a few more. Uh, so we need to make a private string name, and now we can declare two uh, variables if they're the same type. So we want two private strings, so name, comma, permission, and this is going to be the permission that the player needs to have to select a certain kit. Uh, so that's going to make two strings for us, which are name and permission, and then we want a, another, and we're going to separate these out so it's a little bit neater. So we want another private uh, list, but this one isn't static, and this is going to have item stack inside. Uh, and it's going to contain the items, which is a new array list, item stack. So this is going to contain all the items for a specific kit. And obviously it's not static, so we're going to actually remove it down below all of the static variables. Good. So quickly, this dot name equals name, how we normally set things up. This dot permission, uh, now this is just where we're going to set a permission. So the permission for the each kit is going to be the BC Warfare, the BC Warfare dot kit and then dot and then plus the name so that is going to be the uh, permission for each of them the vc warfare dot kit dot name uh, and the name is going to be whatever we input there uh, and then this dot display item uh, we didn't make a display item we need to make a display item private int display item and display item is just going to be a integer because it's going to be the item id so this dot display item equals display item like so now what we want to do is we want to add things into our items. So what we have to do is we have to say for string s items. So we're looping through all of these and correct that spelling error, like so. So we loop through all of the items. And first of all, let's just make two integers. Uh, so in id equals zero and amount equals one by default. Um, now, first of all, we want to check if our string, if our item, contains uh, what we're going to use to separate the item ID and the quantity, so a colon. So if it contains a colon, then we're going to say ID equals integer dot value of, and then s dot split. And actually what we can do is we can now say uh, string, string array, we're going to make a string array, which is, just call it split item, equals s dot split at the colon, uh, and we're going to move this inside of the if statement. So now what we can type is we can type split item, 
uh, at zero, and amount equals amount equals integer dot value of, and then split item at one, because the item is going to be laid out like uh, what is it two five six dash four colon four. So if we split it here and we add it into an array, what it looks like in the array is this. And so this is our zero, our ID before the comma, zero, and one is our amount, like so. So otherwise, if it doesn't contain a colon, then we're just going to make it the ID, the amount equal one, which already is, so we don't need to do anything to the amount. And we say the ID equals integer dot value of s dot trim, like so. And we also want to do it with split item zero dot trim and split item one dot trim. So we don't have any random spaces going around the place. Uh, so cool. And this, then we need to add uh, this into the items. So this dot items dot add a new item stack with the ID and the amount. So we've added that item into the, where's that throwing an error? Deprecated. Why is that deprecated? That's silly. Let's check that. New item stack material. Okay, so what we can type is, I guess, material dot get material. <laughs> That's okay. So never mind. Just just type id amount, and then we'll add a suppress warnings because that will still work. Okay, cool. And now at the end, we type all kits dot add this class because this class is a kit and now we're going to add it into our all kits. Okay, good. So now we need to set up some housekeeping, housekeeping, housekeeping methods. Um, so first of all, we want to check if a kit is a kit. So public static boolean is kit and then string name. So we want to check if the kit with a specific name is actually a real kit. So for kit k all kits, if name equals k dot get name, uh, which we haven't actually made yet, so get name, get name, then return true, otherwise return false. So I guess we'll make the, uh, the get name method now. Okay, so that's looping through all the kits, and if the name that we specified equals the kit's name, uh, or dot equals ignore case is what we should put really, dot equals ignore case k dot get name, then we'll return true, otherwise we'll return false. So let's make our get name method, so public, uh, string get name and in here we just return the name like so that's good okay so let's make our other static methods so public static kit i can really type today static kit get kit string name uh for kit k all kits so we're looping through all the kits again and we don't need those brackets actually because we're not using more than one line and if the name dot equals ignore case uh, name so if it's if the kit that we're trying to find is equal to this kit then we're going to return this kit uh, otherwise we'll just return null because it has failed to find a kit good so there's a couple of methods we set up uh, now we also want to make a method which will set a kit for a player uh, which can be used static so by other classes without having to make an instance of this class so to do that we're going to type public static void uh, set kit for a player and then a specific kit for the player like so um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say player kits dot put player dot get name with the kit uh, that we have specified uh, we can also um, make another method which is not static so public void set kit for a player now we might not use all these methods in this tutorial series but I'm making them so that you, if you ever need them uh, they're always here so set kit for the player and we just want it to set the kit for the uh, the kit class that we are currently in an instance of so say this was a warrior kit class we would say player kits um, or we would actually say set kit and we would reference this other method that we've already created for the player we already have and then we're just going to say this for this class that we are currently in an instance of. The static, it's doing it as if there's no instance of the class and we have to specify everything. So if I were to put this here, it doesn't know what it's referring to because it, it, this is just, you know, the class overall in a whole. It's not um, an instance of the class. Okay, 
So we also want to get a kit for a player. So public static kit get kit for a player player. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use what the, the question mark operator. So I'll type it up first and explain it. So we want to return player kits dot get player dot get name like so. Um, and question equals equals null question mark all kits dot get zero colon player kits dot get player dot get name. So what this is doing is it's saying we're going to return. Now, does the player have a current currently does has the player you know specified I want to use this kit if not just give him a default kit which is going to be our first kit otherwise uh, give him the kit he has specified is all that is saying okay um, so now we want to use we want to make another couple of, of uh, just private methods so public item stack get display item so we're just going to return our display item uh, and make that capital I um, so item stack, item stack equals new item stack uh, display item using the ID we currently have up here. We also need to add a suppress warnings because it's currently deprecated for some strange reason, which I'm not sure about. I should look into it. We might change that later on. In the series. Um, we now want to get the item meta uh, for the item. So m equals is dot get item meta, uh, and then we're going to say item meta dot set display name to the current name of the item. And then item stack got set item meta to the item meta we just made and return item stack. I've done that in some bucket plugin tutorial series. Uh, if you want, you can check them out uh, about item meta. And we want to return the permission node. So public permission get permission node, like so. And we want to return a new permission uh, permission uh, of the permission that we currently have, like so. So that is how that's going to work. Permission is something built into bucket or bucket dot permissions dot permission. Make sure you have that imported and not some other crazy thing. Um, also, in our set kit, we want to check if player dot has permission uh, kit dot get permission get permission node. Uh, so if if they don't have it, so invert this, then we're going to say to player player dot send message or we should have this in our chat utilities chat utilities which we're going to make now so go into our utilities and chat utilities uh, let's just make a, another method to public static void send message player 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 string message and we're going to say player dot send message starter plus message like so so in here we're going to say chat utilities dot send message to the player saying you don't have the permission to use this kit exclamation mark and then we want to return out of this method because we're not going to add them into that kit because they can't use it because they don't have the right permission um, finally we want to give the player the uh, their kit so public void give kit to, and I'm going to move this up because you guys can't really see. Uh, pub give kit to a player, so player, player, like so. And in here, all we want to do is we want to clear the inventory. So we're going to make another utility class. So in our utils class, click in utils package, click new class, and we're going to say inventory utilities. And in here, we want to make a public static void clear inventory of a player and in here uh, we want to do a few things so in the player's inventory we want to first of all say player dot get inventory dot clear so we're clearing the inventory and then player dot get inventory dot set armor contents new item stack array and then open brackets and then for now just type air 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 and we'll start our method for that. And then finally, player dot update inventory. We also want to make a, a private static item stack air. So this is just going to return a new item stack uh, with a material of air because we don't want to have to type new item stack material dot air. Uh, um, 
and make sure you import things from the right places from org.bucket like that and then add a suppress warnings up here cool so now in our give kit first of all we want to say inventory utilities inventory utilities dot clear inventory for the player like so so we've cleared the inventory um, and now what we want to do is we want to say player or we want to first of all loop through all our items so for item stack items item stack and then items like so and then player dot get inventory dot add item item stack and we can remove the unnecessary braces like so so that is pretty much our kit class done we can remove any unnecessary imports from the top and yeah so that is that is pretty much it now in our player join class we want to give them the or player join listener we want to give them the item that allows them to open this and the next tutorial we're going to be getting into uh, actually opening that inventory so when they first join we actually also want to clear the inventory so inventory utilities dot clear inventory for the event dot get player like so and actually let's make a variable so player player equals event dot get player so instead of event dot get player we can type player and here we can type player like so let's just separate these things out here we go uh, and now we want to make a item stack. So item stack, item stack equals new item stack, and let's make it a uh, diamond sword. So material dot diamond sword, uh, and then item meta, item meta. Also, we've imported from the wrong place, so make sure we import from the right place, which is org bucket dot inventory dot item stack. So item meta im equals uh, item stack dot get item meta. Now we want to say item meta dot set display name chat color dot green. Ugh, sorry about that. I forgot where I was. Um, okay, so we're gonna set the uh, set the display name for our uh, you know what what are we calling it like display name display item or kit item as it's gonna be green. I'm gonna call it kits, and then we're gonna say item stack dot set item meta to the item meta, and then player dot get inventory dot add item. Item stack, and then let's update the inventory. So player dot update inventory, like so. And then let's separate this out. So our variables, setting the item meta, and then adding it to the inventory. So I think that's going to do for this tutorial. It's been going on for a little longer than I anticipated. That's all right. Uh, so next tutorial, we're going to be looking at actually opening our kit thing, uh, applying kits to players, and possibly if we have time, uh, giving them to players when they get into the game. So I shall see you guys next time.